one of the most important part for the icc students is atomic number generally in class 7 or 8 we learn about atomic number what is the definition of atomic number and uh, many things we may know from this particular term one by one i will discuss all these things first of all uh, teachers are advising us to remember nearly or uh, at least 20 elements first 20 elements of the periodic table uh, what is their atomic number such as hydrogen helium lithium beryllium boron carbon nitrogen in this way we have to memorize first 20 elements name with their atomic number but the reason is that why should we learn them why should we remember them what is the need of that one by one i will explain uh, just follow the video so first of all if we remember atomic number of an element what can we learn from it first of all uh, from the atomic number we can assign their electronic configuration of any element secondly we may say whether the element is a metal or a non-metal or a metalloid or it is a noble element like that third point we can say about the valency of the element and fourth point in periodic table what is the position of that particular element so at first i am discussing what is atomic number in class 7 already you have uh, you came to know that atomic number is the total number of protons present in the nucleus of an atom that means if uh, the nucleus of an element contain 5 proton then atomic number is 5 if it contains 15 proton atomic number is 15 so what is the total number of proton that is present in the nucleus of an element that number is called atomic number and since atomic number is the number of proton also we know that uh, one atom is electrically neutral electrically neutral means the number of proton must be equal to the number of electrons therefore we can say that what is the atomic number that is the number of proton and that exactly equals to the number of electrons in that particular atom of that element so it is very clear that by knowing atomic number we can say the number of electrons present in that atom and since all electrons cannot present in one cell we can find out how many electrons are there in different cells here comes electronic configuration what is this uh, already you uh, came to know about the Bohr model uh, Rutherford model some of you know, all these things it was given there that uh, if one atom contain suppose 15 proton and 15 electron then all the 15 electron cannot reside on one particular place so they need to be placed in different cells surrounding the nucleus there are few cells they are known as k l m n etc and those cells have their particular capacity of holding the electrons but as we know that the last cell cannot hold more than eight electrons then uh, the most important things that we can do after knowing atomic number is to do electronic configuration how we can do that if we memorize first 20 elements serially we can easily find out what is the electronic configuration here i have shown few elements and the electronic configuration first one is hydrogen atomic number one so it has only one electron and that must be present in k cell second one is coming uh, helium helium has two electron so of course k cell contain two electron so its configuration is only k2 lithium atomic number three so its configuration will be k2 and l1 beryllium it has four electron so its configuration will be will be uh, beryllium 2 comma 2 boron atomic number 5 so k cell 2 l cell 3 so k2 l3 in this way we can say nitrogen atomic number 8 so k2 l6 fluorine 9 k2 l7 one by one if we go for aluminium atomic number 13 so k2 l8 m3 silicon 284 phosphorus 285 sulfur 286 chlorine 287 argon 288 potassium 2881 and calcium 2882 it has uh, four cell will be there so like this these are the electronic configuration of the first 20 elements you all know about that so next one is coming that how atomic number tells you about metals and non-metals in the starting of the video i have told you that if you know the atomic number you can uh, say about four things of an element number one was 
electronic configuration i have shown you already that how we can find out electronic configuration of an element second one is how we can say about the nature of the element that means whether they are metal or non metal all these things so what is the procedure i have written it here from atomic number you can easily do electronic configuration just i have shown in the previous uh, slide next one the last cell where electrons are present is called valence cell have a look uh, for hydrogen valence cell is k cell because last electron resides in k cell for nitrogen what is the last cell that is l so l is the valence cell for chlorine what is the cell klm that means m is the valence cell like this the last cell where electrons are present that is called valence cell and the electrons present in the valence cell are known as valence electron such as in this part you can see what is the last electron one by one i am saying hydrogen valence electron is 1 helium valence electron is 2 lithium valence electron is 1 beryllium it is 2 boron it is 3 carbon it is 4 nitrogen 5 oxygen 6 the last electron it is called valence electron now if we know the valence electron we can easily say whether they are metal or non metal how have a look if number of valence electron is either 1 or 2 or 3 the element is known as a metal example uh, look at this part lithium what is the valence electron 1 so it is a metal boron uh, leave boron there are few exam exceptions also sodium what is the valence electron 1 so it is a metal magnesium it is having 2 metal aluminum 3 metal potassium having one valence electron also metal calcium having two valence electron it's also metal so if the number of valence electrons is either one or two or three the element is a metal if number of valence electron is four the element is non metal or metalloid uh, carbon silicon like this few metals are there they are either non metal or metalloid Uh, this uh, number of metalloids are not so much four or five are there you have to remember them then if the number of valence electron is either five or six or seven it is surely non metal chlorine what is the valence electron seven because electronic configuration is 2 8 7 the last cell contains seven electron so it's a non metal in this way if the valence electron is either five or six or seven those elements can be said as non metals and if the last cell contain eight electrons this is called inert element or noble gas so uh, by knowing atomic number we can find out their electronic configuration i have already explained we can uh, say about their nature whether they are metals or they are non metals i have already explained that one next it is coming about how atomic number tells you about valency of an element what is valency it is the combining ability of an element with other elements about valency you have uh, learned already so how we can say about the valency so in the like the previous way first of all you need to do the electronic configuration second find out the valence electron number if the valence electron is 1 2 or 3 valence is same that means 1 or 2 or 3 potassium atomic number 19 electronic configuration 2 8 8 1 so valence cell contain how many electrons only one so what will be the valency one magnesium 12 282 last cell contain two electron that means valence electron is two valency also equals to two no problem is there but if the valence electron is more than three that means 4 5 6 7 or 8 then valency is something different that time we have to subtract the number of electron from 8 why you are subtracting from 8 because elect, uh, every element have a tendency to complete its octet by accepting the electrons or by losing the electrons those who are having one two or three electron they can lose so simply that is the valency those who are having more than three electron they can accept electron so we are subtracting from eight now if the valence electron is four valency is coming four if it is five eight minus five equals to three if it is six eight minus six equals to two if it is seven eight minus seven one like this we can find out their valency next is coming that how we can find out the exact position of an element in the periodic table from its atomic number that one also i have explained that after electronic configuration the number of cell will tell you the period number suppose one element having 13 electron so what is the configuration k cell contain 2 l cell 8 and m cell 3 so what is the number of cell 
थ्री सेल आर देयर सो दैट एलिमेंट विल बी प्लेस्ड इन द थर्ड पीरियड ऑफ द पीरियड टेबल इट इज कमिंग अबाउट द पीरियड पीरियड नंबर सो वंस मोर आई एम सेइंग द नंबर ऑफ सेल विल टेल यू अबाउट द पीरियड नंबर एंड इफ द वैलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन इज वन और टू ग्रुप नंबर विल बी वन और टू बट वेन द वैलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन विल बी थ्री टू एट ग्रुप नंबर विल बी टेन प्लस दैट एग्जाम्पल इज नीडेड वन मोर एग्जाम्पल आई एम गिविंग यू सपोज एक्स इज एन एलिमेंट उथ एटमिक नंबर फिफ्टीन सो व्हाट इज द कन्फिगरेशन के सेल कंटेन टू एल सेल कंटेन एट इलेक्ट्रॉन एंड एम सेल कंटेन फाइव इलेक्ट्रॉन सो वैलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन इज फाइव इट इज ए नॉन मेटल वन इनफर्मेशन आई एम गेटिंग वैलेंसी हाउ आई एम कैलकुलेटिंग एट माइनस फाइव इक्व टू थ्री सेकेंड इनफर्मेशन आई एम गेटिंग सिंस दे आर थ्री सेल सो पोजिशन इज थर्ड पीरियड एंड ग्रुप नंबर देर आर फाइव इलेक्ट्रॉन सो आई सेट दैट वेन द नंबर अफ इलेक्ट्रॉन इन द वैलेंस इज मोर दैन टू दैट टाइम वी हैव टू एड टेन उथ देम सो टेन प्लस फाइव इक्व टू फिफ्टीन सो द एलिमेंट इज प्लेसड इन फिफ्टीन ग्रुप थर्ड पीरियड इट्स ए नॉन मेटल हुज वैलेंस इज थ्री सो बाय नोइंग द एटमिक नंबर वी कैन फाइंड आउट थ्री और फोर मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ एन एलिमेंट व्हाट दे आर नंबर वन वी कैन फाइंड आउट द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फ़िगरेशन नंबर टू वी कैन से वेदर द एलिमेंट इज ए मेटल और नॉन मेटल नंबर थ्री वी कैन फाइंड आउट दे आर वैलेंसी नंबर फोर वी कैन फाइंड आउट दे आर एग्जैक्ट पोजिशन इन द पीरियोडिक टेबिल सो एटमिक नंबर टेल्स अस ऑल दिस इम्पोर्टेंट पार्ट्स Thank you